Now, Israel's military has said that 34 rockets have been fired across the border and that 25 were shot down by its Iron Dome aerial defense system. Another five rockets struck Israeli territory and the rest of the strikes were being investigated, security forces added. The army's response would come after a situational assessment and meeting by Israel's security cabinet later Thursday, it said. Israel blamed Lebanon-based Hamas forces for the attack, with Israeli official sources saying it would not have been carried out without Hezbollah's consent. Israel's Prime Minister Netanyahu at the security cabinet has said, I have made it clear that our enemies should not misjudge us. The internal debate in Israel will not prevent us from taking action against them wherever and whenever necessary. All of us, without exception, are united in this. Let's listen into the reaction that has come in. העברתי בימים האחרונים שאויבינו לא יטו בנו. הוויכוח הפנימי בישראל לא ימנע מאיתנו לפעול נגדם בכל מקום ובכל עת שיידרש. כולנו, בלי יוצא מן הכלל, מאוחדים בזה. אין לנו שום עניין לשנות את הסטטוס קוו בהר הבית. אנחנו קוראים להרגעת הרוחות ואנחנו נפעל בתקיפות נגד קיצונים שנוקטים שם אלימות. באשר לתוקפנות עלינו מהזירות השונות, אנחנו נכה באויבינו והם ישלמו מחיר על כל מעשה תוקפנות. אויבינו יגלו שוב שברגעי מבחן אזרחי ישראל עומדים מאוחדים ומלוכדים ומגבים את הפעולות של צה"ל ושל שאר זרועות הביטחון כדי להגן על מדינתנו ואזרחינו. Well, to give us more information on this, I'm being joined by Abhishek Jha on the phone line. Abhishek, what has been the trigger for this? So clearly, uh, this is uh, after two days of consecutive raids by the Israeli uh, army and Israeli forces on the Al-Aqsa Mosque, uh, which is the third holiest site of Islam. Uh, this uh, reaction from Hamas has come where uh, they have apparently fired over three dozen rockets onto Israel. Many of them were encountered by Israeli uh, defense, air defense uh, in the midway. Uh, but uh, about five of these rockets, Uh, have fallen into Israeli uh, territory and uh, this is when uh, Israel has now reacted also and they have started raiding uh, and, uh, and sending uh, its planes to Lebanon and Gaza uh, where the Hamas holdouts are based. So clearly the tensions are high in, uh, in, in that Israel, uh, between Israel and Lebanon uh, and we know we were actually expecting this to happen because ever since this Al-Aqsa Mosque incident has started happening and we all saw Uh, the, the videos with that surface where Israeli forces were forced uh, fully and a uh, sort of thrashing uh, those devotees who were present in Al-Aqsa Mosque. So uh, it was uh, b- 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 expected that there would be some reaction. Uh, but meanwhile, there, there is going to be a lot of uh, in, uh, heavy costs uh, on this where the many lives are endangered. Uh, and we have to see from here onwards whether this situation will escalate further or some Uh, peace uh, will be, uh, you know, retained there. Well, Abhishek, thank you so much for getting the information on that story. And with that, it's time for a short break.